Hey babes, it's Friday. Wait! I'm going to PT. I'm at PT right now, so I'm about to go in and have my ass worked by cat. Um, and then I need to go to the tip to take all this rubbish. I've got a busy day ahead of me. jobs have just about been done today um, just did housework and sorting out clothes I've got rid of loads of bin liners I'm gonna take them to some charity shops just you know needed to have a sort out we are going to the boot camp Christmas party tonight and it's the closest thing that I will ever have to a staff party because I work for myself so I'm buzzing for it I'm wearing heels I never wear heels Norwich is comprised of predominantly hilly cobbly roads in the city centre so I might fall over Mark hit me hurt me hurt me you look lovely thank you here we go we're in here I mean, yeah. this is it. We were a little bit late, but it's like a half seven. It's like quarter past eight or something now. Good morning. It is the morning after the night before. Well, actually, it's midday now. Been sat on my sofa editing the photos that I took last night. So, last night was the boot camp Christmas party. Things got quite wild towards the end of the party, and then after we got kicked out, basically, well, not, not kicked out, but by when we decided to leave, because like we, we, they hired a room upstairs in a club bar place and when our time was up it was opened to the public and it started getting really crazy so we left and we went to a place called Turtle Bay next door because they do two for one on cocktails so we went there and um, we had a few more um, and then we got kicked out there because they were closing so we came back and 
I got to show you this. Josie went to London yesterday with her dad to go Christmas shopping and she brought us, she gave me and Mark this card. <laughs> Merry Christmas, mum and dad. <laughs> and then inside it says, to Helen and Mark, Merry Day of Christ. Here are some yummy donuts. The Caramac one is mine. Don't touch it or I will slaughter you with your, my bare hands. But Josie, and she brought us some donut type donuts, which, you know, uh, if you don't know who they are, you need to follow them on Instagram because I was a huge fan of them on Instagram, the, the Australian account, and then they came to London. And <laughs> we, I, I ate, not her Caramac one, but sort of demolished those. And I made such a mess. I don't want to speak too soon, but I feel like actually all right. Like I definitely feel now I've been drinking. Um, I've had that kind of like haze. In my last vlog when I went out uh, and I like had a few beers when I went to see Def Leppard, the next day I just, when I have a hangover, I don't have a headache. I don't feel sick. I feel like tired and a bit, Ugh. But I recently, in the last like six, you know, I've always sort of had it, but in the last six months, it's been really severe. I get really bad guilt and anxiety and I feel really sad. And it's just like, for like a day or two, I feel awful about myself. Like I've done the worst thing ever or I'm just a really bad person. And I feel, I still, I feel somewhat disappointed and embarrassed that I got drunk and like see it as a really bad thing. Like I got drunk. Whoa. And I always worry that I've been an idiot, that I said something I shouldn't, that I was being an ass or I did something stupid. And I just have all these really negative and invasive thoughts. And I just feel like the worst person ever. I'm sort of like trying to work on that. Cause I know like, I'm not trying to like mentally cure myself from having a hangover, but I feel like the guilt thing is stupid. Like the guilt thing is unnecessary. And I don't need to feel like that because A, I never do anything stupid or like very, very, very rarely do something stupid. And also people go out and have fun and party and no one's judging you when you go drink because they're all, everyone else is drinking and in the same boat as you. But last night, this is the first time in so long that I haven't felt like that. And I feel, I feel like because I had such a good time with everyone, everyone was being really funny and silly and I didn't feel like I was more drunk than anyone else. Like, I haven't had any of these negative invasive thoughts whatsoever. And I feel really good about it. Like, I feel like it's an achievement that I overcome. Like, it's one, like, step in the right direction to overcoming, like, anxiety and, like, negative thoughts and, like, all this sort of stuff. Like, I feel like I've had a little... I don't know, you don't know. It could, in an hour's time, it could have kicked in and I'll be like, oh, here we go. But I'm just saying right now, I feel really good and I don't feel bad for having a good time. I don't feel bad about drinking. I don't feel bad about getting a bit tiddly. I don't feel bad about all the, any of that shit. So um, anyway, I'm going to have a bath because I feel like that's a good shout. And then I'm, I'm going to go sort out my office because even though it's finished, there are, I need to put everything back. So they're all in boxes and then just tidy up quickly around here. We're going on a date night tonight and I'm well excited. We're going ice skating. So we're gonna do some Christmassy stuff. Mark's gone to play rugby. I'm not gone to see it because I told him that I had stuff to do today and I don't have to go to every match. And it's a friendly. They're just playing against each other. Oh shit, that's no fun anyway. And he, he yeah, so that is the plan. You never I'm gonna give myself an hour to do this. Only an hour because I got this, I don't know, it's just such a t simple like trick or tip or whatever and it's from Miss Hinch where she'll do, put a timer on and give herself a list to do. So I'm gonna give myself an hour to sort my office out. I reckon, I reckon I can do it within an hour. At least it keeps me basically motivated to keep going and stop like procrastinating. By the way, I'm wearing the most extra housework outfit ever. Um, I did like a little ASOS order the other night um, and I picked up this headscarf because I really love headscarves and for some reason I got this matching thing from Miss Guided. Um, I got this matching set here because I basically live in loungewear and I will wear the shit out of it because it's my life. I cannot stop listening to my 2018 Wrapped playlist. Like, it's not, I mean, it's enough that 
all these songs I listen to on repeat anyway because that's why they're in my most played playlist and I'm listening to them all over again on repeat because well I love them what an amazing playlist to have <laughs> Mark's got some flared cords to wear for New Year's Eve. We bought them off of eBay because we're going to a 70s party and take them off. Ooh, pants. <laughs> yes. Zip them up. Your flies are hanging low. <gasps> yes. How do you feel? Quite comfy, actually. Go out on them tonight. <laughs> Yay! I'm glad, I'm glad I got the 34 waist. Why? They are a bit tight on are the thighs. They? Oh dear. Hashtag thick thigh problems and to... Thick thighs save lives, baby. We're in the car. I'm ready. To, about to go. We're about to go. I've done my office and I put some makeup on. We are going to go ice skating! The weather's really shit. But um, luckily this place we're going to is inside um, and followed that up with some Italian food. I am st I still don't feel miserable. I'm so happy that I don't feel miserable. It is a Christmas miracle. You okay, Mark? Yeah, I'm still not warmed up. Have you not? No. <laughs> We had a really nice time ice skating. That was fun. We couldn't film on the ice, so that's why I snuck to the side and filmed things. We made friends with the paramedic. We did. I talked to him about fingers being chopped off. Yeah. He said that they use prick stick to stick them back on because prick stick like dries clear. They don't need gorilla glue. They don't need gorilla glue because that can go brown. Yeah. So, um,. Yeah, we did the ice. And then we went to Brewdog for a pint. And we didn't fall over? No, we didn't fall over. We were no, very good, weren't we? We were good. Very good. We were good. I was pleasantly surprised at my skating ability. Brewdog for a brew ski? Cheeky brew. Brew ski. Brew ski. Brew. Nice little old beer. And then past the time before our dinner reservation at Trattoria Rustica, which is my favourite restaurant in Norwich. It is. It is. It is. We'll have to go to my one next. Your one next, which is Cisco's. Mm. Sushi? I, you say sushi's your favourite food. Yeah. But I've never seen you actually eat it. That's because you ate it. Oh yeah, that time I <laughs> ate sushi. <laughs> We've never been out for sushi. To be fair, I've never had a time. I don't know. No, I don't know. Shut up, Helen. But that was really good, wasn't it? It was so cold though, isn't it now? Yeah, like... Bones. Bones, Hey, baby girl. Baby girl. Baby girl! Oh, she's looking up at you. She loves you. She loves you. No, oh, gorgeous. <laughs> oh. Gonna get in my PJs. What a lovely date. Mm. That was alright, you went. Huh? Very nice date. That food was good. It was very good. Sexy. 